Hi, I'm Hannah Thompson and I'm a media director at SOAK. Uh, so we're an independent agency in Shoreditch um, and I'm going to be giving you an intro into the digital out of home market. So firstly, I thought we'd just discuss what digital out of home is. The purest definition is out of home sport on digital screens powered by the technology we're familiar with as online buyers, which allows for greater precision and personalization. Uh, so to buy digital out of home, you have two main options. So the first is alongside your normal out of home campaigns. So going direct to media owners and signing an IO. And the second is programmatically. So via digital marketplaces. So this operates similarly to programmatic guaranteed, um, if you're familiar with that. Um, so it's not fully controllable on the buy side um, just because of the nature of the ad, um, but it's still activated through the programmatic pipe. There are major benefits to using digital out of home. Uh, the main ones being the more advanced targeting, the more relevant creatives. Um, so you can do things like geofence ads to drive to the nearest store, or you can use dynamic creative. So I'm sure everybody has seen all of the Gordons and Pims ads that pop up when the weather's nice. Um, or you can personalize the ads a little bit. So for example, if you're running on the tube and you have some ads on the Northern line or some on the central line, uh, you can acknowledge that in the copy a little bit more easily. So what does the market for digital out of home actually look like? Firstly, um, there was about £694 million in digital out-of-home revenue in 2019, and about 59% of all out-of-home transacted in 2020 was digital. And that is increasing every year uh, per the PwC OutSmart data that comes out yearly. Um, and in terms of the landscapes, you've got your media owners, so players like JC Deco, Global, Ocean, and Clear Channel. Um, but on top of those, you've also got the tech and measurement tools. So these include companies like Broadsign and View who operate as marketplaces, um, and then companies like Verizon, who are getting more into the market now as well. So with players like Verizon entering the market, and also rumors of Google um, getting more involved, um, we do also have much more data flowing through the marketplace, which will only improve things like targeting in the long run. And then we have measurement players, so like AdSquare and Bliss, um, they do location tracking, footfall measurement. Uh, so you can track and retarget people who've seen or been in the vicinity with the opportunity to see certain ads. Um, they're all really important for helping us sell digital out of home as agencies to our clients and, and also for clients and selling it to their business um, who potentially have a bit more of a digital background and need those metrics in more real time. And there's a few myths about digital out of home, which I hope to dispel. So firstly, that you can't buy premium and impactful placements. Uh, so more and more of those iconic placements are becoming digitized and so more and now starting, more um, of those players are now starting to offer programmatic buying. Um, an example of that being Ocean Outdoors partnership with Hivestack, who are a technology partner. Um, and our Ocean Outdoor are famously in charge of sites like Piccadilly Lights, the, the IMAX at Waterloo, for example. Secondly, that digital out of home will cost you more. Uh, so it is more expensive in terms of CPMs if you compare it to something like a banner ad. Um, but the cost for impactful impression tends to be much stronger for out of home in general. Out of home consistently is a top performer. If you look at any studies from the industry um, based on ad recall and ad recognition, um, so it's definitely worth considering for your media plans. There is also a bit of a hesitancy to buy digital out of home compared to printed traditional out of home, just based on the comparative costs. Um, but with digital out of home, you have much less wastage, more opportunity for creative personalization, which does make your pounds work harder, especially if you're a small or medium business that really needs to make every penny count. And finally, that digital out of home isn't measurable. So yes, you can't click on a digital out of home ad in the same way you can a Facebook ad, um, but you can use mobile location data to pull reports like um, opportunity to be seen, um, or you can do controlled versus exposed testing using, using location data. Um, we can use platforms like Root, which cover all out of home, um, to report on things like audience against target. Um, so it's not not measurable, it's just not measuring it in the same way that you would your, your online campaigns. So that's hopefully giving you a bit more of an intro into what digital out of home is. Uh, we love putting it on media plans, we think it's super impactful, it works so well, and if you'd like to know more about that, then please get in touch with us.